Okay, so I saw this YouTube video and it inspired me to make this video. And so I wanted to know, do you guys like lemonade? Do you connect with lemonade and all those things? Because I have guy friends and they literally told me like, I don't like lemonade and that the album is basically not for them. I guess it seems like she didn't make the album for them or they can't connect with it in some way. Like that's what they always say. They always say the album's kind of for women, women like it more and all those things. And that is just their standpoint of it and everything. And so I wanted to know for other guys out there, do you feel the same? Can you not connect with this album at all? Do you like this album? And also for women as well, you know, for me as a woman, I really like this album. I think it's one of Beyonce's best albums and there's a lot to like about it. And so I think that maybe it's the subject matter. I don't know. I feel like music should be able to transcend to you and you should be able to appreciate it whether you relate to it or not you know that's kind of how I stand because there's been many albums I've listened to by like a Mariah Carey or Fiona Apple or even male artists like the Beatles for example and it's like I don't necessarily relate to what they're talking about in that song but a great song is a great song and I can appreciate them trying to unfold that experience onto the listener and appreciate what they were trying to do in that respect so I think that music should be able to transcend but you know there's some guys out there who really feel like they can't get into Lemonade and so some of my favorite things about this album is that she was personal on this album. She doesn't really get personal with us very often or vulnerable and with everything that she's been through and how she's been treated, I don't really blame her. But, you know, she's talking about Jay-Z's infidelity and the pain that she went through with that, the sadness, the anger, and ultimately the forgiveness. And I think that she does it in a really powerful way. Pray you catch me, she's saying. I can taste that dishonesty. It's all over your breath. I pray you catch me listening. You know, that's a way to start off an album. And yeah, there's a lot in there. I really love Sorry. That's one of my favorite songs. So the album, I think it's so much fun. And I love the bridge. And she's literally saying, Suicide before you see this tear roll down my eyes. And there's a lot there. And then I also really enjoy songs like Sandcastles. She's saying, bitch, I scratch out the frame. I scratched out your name and your face. And that is a very powerful and emotive vocal performance from Beyonce. And a lot of people don't like Sandcastles. And I learned this years after I got into the album because it's always been one of my favorites on the album. I love Love Drought and the production there is super interesting as well. And Don't Hurt Yourself. This is one that actually really grew on me. I didn't care for it at first, but seeing Beyonce kind of go into rock was really interesting. And I hope her next album is a rock album. We'll have to see about that. Other stuff that I really enjoyed, All Night was a great moment on this album for sure. Daddy Lessons is definitely one of the best songs on this album in my opinion. So you have that and then you have the visuals for this album which were really interesting to listen to and I love a good visual. In fact, she did that for the entire album. What a great visual artist. I loved her vocals in here. I love the production. I love lyrics and ultimately what she did with this album. I feel like this is a big cultural album. I love the aesthetics for this album. I'm really into it. I don't think that Formation needed to be the last song on the album. I don't think it needed to be the song on the album period just because it doesn't really fit sonically with the album and if she was going to put it in the album, she should have put it up higher in the track listing because All Night really is the perfect closer. But if you wanted to hear more of my thoughts on it, I did a video on my YouTube channel, Anastasia25, and I did an entire review and I went track by track so you guys can go and listen to that. And so, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. Do you like Lemonade? Do you not? What your gender is and all those things into maybe why you don't connect with the album. Sometimes people don't really like music that they can't connect to. Sometimes people don't like the music in general. But this is a conversation around this album that I've had for a while now and I figured I would ask everybody how they feel about it.